Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Um, I just thought I'd make this quick tutorial uh, on how to make, how to install rather, section 136 callouts, which is my callout pack. Uh, if you don't know me, my name's Max, I'm a developer of said callout pack, and um, I thought it would just be easier for you guys if I simply did a little inst installation tutorial, just to help those of you who can't quite figure it out, install it. So, to for this tutorial, I am going to be using a uh, release 1.0.1.0 1 1 uh, build 318. Now, that may or may not, depending on when you're watching this video, be the latest version. Um, if it's not, it's not a big deal. Um, however, yeah, you're going to want to install the latest version. But I'm quite good in that I only ever keep the latest release available. Uh, once I've confirmed it to be stable. So, uh, yeah. So you're always going to have the latest version. The process should be relatively similar, although if it changes so dramatically, like it has done before, I will make another video. And that's why I'm making this video, because I did originally have another tutorial, although the process has changed a little bit since then, so I thought I would make another one. <clears throat> so regardless, uh, this is how you... Uh, install section 136 so you're going to start by coming up to the pack here um, if you can't find it uh, there's a way to get to it just typing section 136.maxplowdev.org and you will, will be brought to this page um, simple as that really so you're going to come down here you're going to find download this file so if you click on download this file just here you're going to have a warning script modification don't worry I'm not trying to give you a virus, but you do, should generally be careful with script modifications because they do have full access to your computer like any other application does. So click on agree and download. And you're going to come down here. Got to give it a second to download. Download it. You're going to get a RAR file. So make sure you have WinRAR or 7-zip installed for this. Once you've got the plugin downloaded, you're going to be met with this RAR file just here. So once you've opened it, you're going to head into the GTA 5 folder and you're going to be met with this folder. This is the easiest way to download it. So you're going to come into your GTA 5 folder just here, which is going to have all of your simple like readme, redistributables, SDK, etc. And it's going to have all of these, well, it won't have all of these files, but it'll have some of them. And you're going to come in here, you're going to drag all of these, you're going to drag them into the folder, and then you're going to click on replace the files in the destination if you're prompted to. Now, don't worry about installing old versions of these files. I always keep these files up to date in my downloads. So if you come in here, you're going to notice you're going to get a ton of files. Well, not really a ton, but you're going to plugins. Uh, oh. LSPDFR, and then you're going to be greeted with um, obviously section 136 audio.dll, 136 callouts.dll, and the PDB, and this compatibility file. Which, if I open up here, you're going to see all of the mods that it's compatible with and designed for use with. If you come into the section 136 callouts folder, uh, I'm just going to hide these hidden files, they will be there, but you don't need them. So, you're going to see these um, folders. Now it's nothing kind of too complicated that you won't have seen before. However, if you do, if you if you are updating the callout, you will notice that um, there's no more INI files, and you can read this file if you'd like to for a um, explanation. And I would also like you to read the README uh, when you get time. Uh, but yes, yeah, so basically all you've got to do now is you've got to come into and launch rage plugin hook Which I've got a little command set up just type in rage to the run prompt But you're gonna come into GTA 5 and then you're gonna come all the way down to Rage plugin hook.exe and just click that button uh, click it there as you can see it's gonna connect me to online services It's gonna load up the game. I don't need that <coughs> Du, du, du. and it might prompt you for that, just click no. Just gonna wait for the game window. And once that's there, I will resume the recording. 
Okay, so as you can see, I am now all loaded into the game. So you're going to come up here to the console. Normally that's F4, not always. And you're going to type in load plugin LSPD first response. And wait for it to load in. You're going to get all of your login details, etc. It's going to authenticate with sync. And you're going to type in force duty. Bearing in mind you've got to go to a station at least once. Let's just sort that out. What's going on here? I have 1.8. <laughs> this is a bit embarrassing. Um, uh, where is it? Originate if you are. I'm sure I've got 1.8. If not, that's a bug I need to fix. Oh, it's still got 1.7. Okay. So if that does happen, which is, it might happen, it, I've just realised it's not the latest version, which is actually a bit embarrassing. I thought it was. Just press the down arrow key just now, and it's going to send you to the right place. Click on this button. Click RageNativeUI.zip. Save it. Click here. And just drag. You don't really need the XML, to be honest, but just uh, drag the DLL into your GTA 5 folder. There we go. Uh, it's not going to let you do it just yet. Wow. <laughs> not entirely sure what happened there. So just unload LSPDFR. Uh, then try again. It should let you now. There we go. And then just reload LSPDFR. There we go. Short troubleshooting tutorial um, built into the installation. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I thought it was 1.8 that was in the download, but that's something I need to fix then. So, Force Duty, once Game Event Manager is initialized. There we go, and as you can see, you are all ready uh, to go on duty with 136. And you, by the way, you can join my Discord server just by pressing X and then this button. Um, it will sort out your Cloudflare and all that, it will check your browser, and then it will prompt you to join my server. Uh, and notice how once you've clicked that, once you go off duty and on duty again, you'll no longer get that prompt, so it won't always be there. Okay, so that is honestly about it. As you can see, we've already got callouts coming through. Um, but yeah, that's all. And now you've played the game, um, I'm just going to terminate the game. Oops, true, because I don't need it. But uh, once you've loaded LSP, uh, section 136 at least once, you can come into plugins, LSPDFR, section 136 callouts, and you will get a main config.xml file that you can load and you can change all the settings. So if you want to be, I don't know, one x-ray 12 instead of one add 12, just type in x-ray between these and you will now be one x-ray 12. There's quite a few settings, um, I'm not expecting you to know what all of them mean, but if you do have any problems, do feel free to join my support server and one of the team will guide you through it. Thank you ever so much for watching, in the meantime, uh, do make sure to leave a like if this tutorial helped you out, uh, otherwise feel free to subscribe, I'd appreciate it, it helps the channel out, and uh, yeah, stay tuned for more tutorials. Thanks for watching guys, see you later, bye!